the narcissist pretends to move on. It may seem like the narcissist has managed to forget about you overnight. As though they have moved on. As though they're having fun while you're suffering. Maybe they've got a new boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe they've got a new job. And they act like they're so much happier without you. They try to make it appear as though you're missing out on something. When really, it's just an illusion. It's a deceptive appearance and oppression. And it's designed to give you false ideas and beliefs. It's designed to make you believe it's something that it's not. So that they can get the reaction they want from you. And then feel better about themselves at your expense. They want you to think that all of this stuff is happening without you. As though you're missing out. As though they're having a great time and you're not a part of it. And you're left alone, miserable and suffering. Thinking that you're missing out. When you're not missing out on anything. It's just an illusion. It may look like they have a new boyfriend or girlfriend. It may look like they're so much happier without you. But it's an illusion. Just as it was when they were with you. People thought that you were happy. People thought that you were having a great time. They didn't see everything that you had to go through. They didn't see what the narcissist was really like. Everything good you experienced with them was just love bombing. It wasn't real. The entire relationship was fake. And even though it may look like there was someone else, it's just the same thing again. They're not really happy. They're not really having a good time. There's no such thing as a relationship with a narcissist. Because from the moment you meet them, they're being fake. They're mirroring you and giving you a deceptive appearance. They're not showing you who they really are. So you're not getting to know them. You're not establishing a connection. Because they don't even care about you. A relationship is the way in which two people are connected. But narcissists cannot connect or relate to you or anyone else. Because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They only care about their own needs. Which makes it impossible for them to build a relationship with anyone. Because empathy is one of the most important qualities of a relationship. Without empathy, there is no relationship. They were only involved with you because they wanted something from you. It made them feel good. 
and that's all it really was. They might have said they loved you. They might have said they cared about you. They might have told you that they wanted to marry you or have children with you. They might have said that you would live together and go on vacations. But that was just future faking. Those were just false promises. They just used the relationship to make themselves feel good. It was all fake. They mirrored you and reflected back to you everything that you like, everything that you're interested in. So that they could get what they wanted from you. It wasn't real. And any new relationship they're in is exactly the same. They don't love the person they're with. They don't care about them. They're just in it because of how it makes them feel. Because of what they're getting out of it. The narcissist pretends that they have moved on. They pretend they're happy without you. They pretend they're in love with someone else. But if you remember your relationship with the narcissist, they never had any love to give to you. It's all fake. It's all a lie. They're just using people. Just as they were using you. They created an identity from mirroring you and that's what they then use to attract the next person. They use it to lure people in so that they can get what they want but the narcissist isn't giving anything to them because they have nothing to give. When the narcissist displays these illusions to you. You may think that you miss them. You may think that you want them back in your life. But remember it's just an illusion. That's not who they really are. It's fake. Just as it was when they were with you. Remember how they treated you. Remember how they reacted any time that you tried to confront them. That's who they really are. And that's never going to change. They're always going to be like that. With anyone they're with. They would love for you to think that they've suddenly become everything that you've always wanted them to be. Or that they're treating someone in a way that you always wanted them to treat you. But it's just not true. They've got so much hatred and anger inside of them. They're so envious and jealous of you. And that's why they push you away. They only care about getting what they want. And once you've figured them out, once you've realized what you were dealing with, they're not going to be able to get what they want from you anymore. So they have no choice but to move on to someone else. 
but they're not really moving on. It's just an illusion. It's designed to make the new person they're with think that they're building something significant. And they're also using it to hurt you and make you think you're missing out. They always have to tell you or show you what they're doing to try to get you to buy into the illusion so they can feed off your reaction. So they can get narcissistic supply. But really, they're not doing nothing. They're just as bitter and resentful as they always were. Nothing ever changes with them. You could leave and come back in 10 years and they'd still be doing the same thing. The narcissist pretends they've moved on. They pretend like they're so much happier without you because they want to hurt you. They want to make you think that you're missing out on something but you're not missing out on anything. It's an orchestration. They plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. Because they want to be something significant to you. They want to be something that you might want. They want you to think that there's no other option. When really, their world is so small. Their group of friends or family are not as significant as they have led you to believe. They want you to keep thinking about them. Wondering what they're doing or who they're with. So that they can control you. So that they can keep you focusing on them. Rather than focusing on your life. They want to trap you so that you spend all of your time watching them pretending to have fun, making you think you're missing out. It makes you think they have everything you want because they've taken control over your world when in reality, their world is so small. Their world is insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But they pull you into their world. They trap you around their people. So that it's all you know. You don't realize that there's so much more waiting for you outside of their world. It's only when you step out of the box that they created for you that you then see the illusion that there's nothing for you or that the world is against you. When you separate yourself from the narcissist you will begin to see the bigger picture. You will begin to see what's really going on. When you detach from them, you will see how small their world is. When you're around their family or friends, it feels like you're stuck and you can't get out. But they've just tricked you into thinking that way. Just remember how big the world was before you met the narcissist. There were so many different people, so many places to go, so many things to do. None of that has changed. The narcissist illusion is that none of that stuff exists anymore. But it still exists outside of the narcissist world. 
You've just been trapped in their world for so long that now you see it as more than what it actually is. The narcissist isn't everything. They're just a small, insignificant piece in this world. They want you to think that the world is so big. And they know so many people, so they can keep you under their control. But it isn't. Their world is small and insignificant. It's full of narrow-minded sheeple. And outside of their world, there are so many people for you to meet. So many more opportunities. They want to restrict you to the confines of their world and with their rules. And when you get out of there and you move on with your life and you travel the world and see new things, you will realize how small they are and you will find that you don't even need them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.